so we got phase two here now and the community event officially starts and it's actually really good because each one of these battles that we clear uh we get 100 gems which is really nice so we get a total of 600 gems from doing these for free like it is good it's actually pretty good and then when we look at the exchange shop uh nothing has changed from the data mine information that i covered um and that we saw when uh, they were all posted so we do get coins over here they're not actually move candies um but there's a thing so uh after you can after you get all these like it's not a big deal that you can just uh, sort of farm up these uh, level up manuals if you really want to um i mean it's not a bad idea because the four star level up manuals are actually pretty solid um but for the tiers because we got tiers for completion because it's a community event um so obviously with all of our battles that we do um it's gonna get added towards uh the the accumulative battle uh the accumulative uh battles that we all do and then we all get uh, rewards based on the amount of battles that we've uh, done and over here we can see that for completion one for tier one we get uh 1000 gems for 1 million battles that we all do and then for battle two or for uh tier two we get uh 2000 co-op orbs with uh 50 four star level up manuals for 2 million battles <laughs> it may seem like a lot but it's uh battles that we all do together so it's not like too much um unless not a lot of us are playing the event because we can only do the battles in this event that's the thing too we can only get the the rewards and everything when we do the battles in this event and then for tier 3 3 million battles and we get uh another uh set of gems but 2000 this time along with 1,000 skill spheres, so like it's not bad, like the, the rewards are pretty solid. Obviously getting 3,000 gems is really good. Um, and then for tier 4, we get, uh, four, uh, for 4 million wins, we get the and we get the candies, which is really good. So, we do get candies, and uh, we get them through the completion rewards for the tiers for all these battles, so that's really good. And then for tier 5, the final tier, we get another 3,000 gems. So by completing all these tiers, we get 6,000 gems in total, which is really good. And then we also get five five-star power-ups, which is good. So I would say the rewards are pretty solid. Um, they will update us on how many battles we've actually done. So I definitely recommend a lot of people to do these battles so we can get all these rewards because it's a community, it's a community event. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend a lot of people to do uh, these battles just because um, it, it will help with uh, getting rewards. And uh, uh, with it being a community event, we all have to work together in order to get it. And if only one person is uh, doing the event, like... <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna be getting it, but for 6,000 gems, uh, I I feel it's worth it because we also get the strike move candy um, and the I keep I'm, I almost said coin, but <laughs> it's the actual candies this time. So we get the the strike move candy coin, the te uh, tech move candy, and the support candy. And I know I said coin just now, but I meant strike move candy. Um, so this is really good. So if there's a striker that you have at uh, two out of five, when well, we get to tier four um then you can get uh your striker to three out of five with uh the smooth candy which is great and that goes for the techs and the supports as well so this is very very good um and then along with that we get uh, the coins in the exchange shop for this event too so that's good and then we also get login bonuses so we get one free or we get an extra free battle a day um so along with the daily uh battles that we do um and the logins we get two free battles a day so with the with that being said i definitely recommend everyone to do at least two free battles a day um and then uh extra battles uh, with the coins if you really really want to um but i feel with the two battles a day we should still reach it depending on how many players are actually playing so when we get the uh, updated uh message in the news with them telling us how many battles we've done then we'll sort of go based off of that because we have no clue we're just going into this blindly and we don't know how many battles we've, we're actually going to be doing so it would have been nice if they had a live counter but uh we'll we'll, we'll see uh we don't know when uh we're going to be getting the message so we'll have to see um but it's not bad let's do uh a battle a couple battles we'll do one against um maxi and then we'll do one against archie and uh just take a look at everything in here so for the first battle uh we're gonna use uh i guess we'll use um 
may because <laughs> we are super effective so we don't have any um tickets left but that's fine because we could just go to the exchange shop and we could just uh, oh no no i don't want to do that <laughs> that would be too much so let's just do uh 10 coins right here or uh 10 skip tickets not not skip tickets 10 uh 10 tickets so that we could be battled uh so we'll do one here do one against uh maxi no this is archie no this is maxi yeah, I, keep, I keep getting the mixed up i don't know why uh, so yeah, we're going up against Groudon, and Groudon looks so good here, and I cannot wait for Groudon to come into the game. Um, he is going to be summonable, like they didn't say anything about uh, Groudon and Kyogre being uh, free to play or anything, so it does look like they will be um, summonable. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing, I guess, because like at least we know that they're actually going to be really good, because they're going to be summonable. So I don't really mind too much, to be completely honest. Um, but obviously a lot of players would have preferred if, uh, they were, uh, or if one of them was at least free, but uh, at the same time, I don't really mind just because I know now that with them being summonable, they will, uh, be pretty solid. That's for sure. So these are the rewards that you get for completion. You get one of these and this is what you need to exchange items in the exchange shop. So it's not bad. You get one per battle. So like if you do uh, 15 battles, you're going to get 15 of these. So it's not bad. And that goes for like all of these as well. Um, you can get unlucky and get zero of these and you can get zero of these. Like you can also get the, the new blends as well. Like um, I'll show you right now. Like, it, like the rewards are pretty solid. Um, Obviously, it's a clear sign that uh, Kyogre and Groudon might be strikers because we only get strike uh, uh, blends in this event. So, like, you can also get, like, these ones, um, like, one of the newer items. But, uh, yeah, all these are 50%, uh, a 50% chance. So, you can have a chance to get zero of the battle rewards. So, <laughs> yeah, it can get a little bit annoying if you get unlucky. So, now let's go up against him and uh, see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna go with this team because why not um i barely use venusaur anyways so like it, it, it's fun to just use synchros that you don't really use because uh like when you use the same synchro over and over and over again it can get a little bored even if you do really like them um and venusaur is just hot <laughs> i love it when he does that oh my god that's so awesome all right so let's try to poison them i guess uh and then uh we can just start uh, doing everything else afterwards Man, we're just not getting lucky with getting poison. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll just continue attacking. It's not a big deal. There we go. Finally. Okay. Uh, and then I guess we'll use one six cents on Venusaur so that at least we can get our uh, special attack up to the max. And Venusaur is just obliterating um, a Kyogre. Like, Kyogre looks so good, too. <laughs> he looks so good. Oh, man. Their sprites look really, really nice. I'm happy. I'm... <laughs> I'm super happy. Um, they're gonna look really good. Like we don't know if they're gonna primal evolve though. That's the thing. Uh, so as the as May comes closer to an end, we'll find out more information about Kyogre and Groudon. Um, obviously, once we get the data mine information, we will find out unless they come before the data mine information. But but yeah. So there's the items for uh, going up against Kyogre. Uh, same stuff. Um, like it's literally the same exact event, but. Uh, just with against Kyogre and then Groudon so you could choose who you want to go for and if you do more battles against um, Archie you uh, they will count that as well so like whoever has the more battles uh, the, that's the pin that you're gonna get because uh, if you if Groudon gets more battles done against him we're gonna get the ground pin but if we have more battles done against uh, Archie then we're gonna get the water pin so choose who you want to battle more uh, if you want to get the water pin, then battle against uh, Archie or Maxi a little bit more. Uh, but if you want to get the ground pin, like I said, battle against uh, Groudon. So choose who you want. Uh, are you Team Magma? Are you Team uh, Aqua? Let me know down in the comments below. This is a fun little community event that we all have to do. So get battling. Let's try to get to Tier 5. Get to 5 million wins or battles. Um, let's get these rewards because the rewards are pretty good. So... Yeah, get battling, <laughs> and uh, good luck. Uh, hopefully, we can get to 5 million battles. Um, and again, let me know who you're going against, uh, Team Magma or Team Aqua. And I'll see you guys 
in the next video.